Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're getting into the second wave of Mandalorian retro figures that have just hit here in Australia uh, at Zing Pop Culture. So I've picked four of them up. I'm going to be recording four of these videos right now. Um, so yeah, stay tuned this week. These will be dropping um, as the days go through the week. So um, yeah, really, I wasn't going to get them. Um, I've seen a lot of, lot of videos and a lot of photos of them. And you know, having having had the first wave, like it kind of needs the second wave. So, still up in the air as to whether I'm going to go for the Obi Wan Kenobi ones that are going to drop later in the year. But for now, I'm uh, pretty happy with these. Um, yeah, I don't really care for the packaging and the big sticker and all that. So, these are openers for me. These are just a cool little subline of figures to have, and it's really nice to actually be able to buy something in the shop that isn't a pre-order for something that's going to come out in nine to twelve months. So, <laughs> we're just going to get straight into it and crack open the Mandalorian. This is sort of his season two appearance, which does change. Um, looks like they've given him the Q90 uh, sort of leg plate as well. But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to crack straight into it. Get rid of all the rubbish and all the plastic and all the stuff we don't really care about. Um, yeah, we lost a gun already. That's just flicked over on the floor. I've got it. It's all good. So I really like that they've gone with the uh, soft goods fabric on this one this time. Uh, the first Mandalorian, they uh, didn't do that. They uh, went with the classic sort of vinyl capes. Um, but yeah, really glad they changed it up for this one. I think it was just a natural move forward. You know, if you want to follow up the old Kenner vintage stuff you know they transitioned away from that by the time they sort of finished up with the lines back in the mid 80s um so yeah here we go he's got his pistol which, you know very much a classic sort of kenner looking shape simple details you know it's cool i like it and actually do sit in their hands which is nice which I did appreciate immensely with the first wave of retros um, and yeah the same with the uh, I like being able to have it in the right hand so it looks like he's sort of just holding it there's no way to sort of stick it on the back or anything but that's that's the simplicity of these figures you know it's being able to just display them like they were in the 70s and 80s and you know probably you know, get chewed up by the dog. and <laughs> But yeah, I do love the translation of these coming through to the sort of Kenner style. I do like it. Um, yeah, I always said, particularly with the first wave, um, they're sort of carried over very nicely in terms of sort of color scheme. They're very much uh, reminiscent of those very early 1970s figures from 78. Um, you know, they're all very just sort of distinct in color. And that, that, that sort of came across very much so in the first wave. So there's a little bit of that in this wave as well. But I dig the jetpack. I think that's a cool addition. You know, this one, you know, goes very nicely with the old vintage Boba Fett. And um, even the retro one that I'm about to review um, as part of this set of set of videos. And I just like the simplicity of it. I think it's cool. It's a nice piece. It's got the little mud horde and signet there, which is cool. Some may argue that's a little bit too much detail for something Kenner style, but it's all right. It works. Let's even say even the paint on the uh, legs is probably like the little bit of silver there is probably a little bit more than they would have done back in the day, but appreciate it nonetheless. Know, maybe they did. Maybe they would have done that. Only a small thing, but uh, yeah. A really cool looking figure. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll be back with another one. Probably tomorrow. You know, I'll get some of these videos out here this week. Because there are nice, quick, easy reviews. They're fun to look at. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you. Always.